Harry, Harry, Harry. Well, Harry, Harry, this is Lord Potato. I don't know why I said Harry, Harry. You like a pretty. Whatever. Um, this is part three of what if Naruto was from a Joker clan. Part three. So I already said that. So yeah. Um, don't know why I said twice part three. But whatever. Uh, other than that, I'm not doing a recap. If you want to watch uh, previous part two and one, go ahead. Uh, I'm not doing a recap. So I'm going to start where I was last left it off. So, of course, this is when Team... Uh, I really never gave them an actual team name. So, I'm actually going to call them Team 14. Just something similar to Team 7. But, yeah. Just times 2. Team 14, okay? Just... It's Team 14. So, Team 14 is going towards, well... The land of, well, snow somewhat. To basically protect an actress. Because they were asking to go to the land of snow. Now, of course, Team 14 uh, considers of... The sensei being Gojo sensei, uh, one of them being named Aizawa, whose ability is a Kegenkai to erase chakra. Junko, Junko is someone who is able to kind of get people's despair to make herself stronger. And yeah, and of course, Naruto, who is definitely from the Joker clan, but like, like a couple percents and mostly Muz Ooh. Why the hell did I say Muzumaki? No, Uzumaki and... um. Namikaze, but yeah, and of course he got multiple Keke Kenkais from the Joker clan since they consider a bunch of things and also being extremely smart, but at the same time can go insane anytime. Um, but Naruto found out a way how to not go insane and that is by pranking people and kind of laughing like a Joker a little bit, like a clown a little bit. So yeah, of course this is where I will. They're going straight towards what's called the, well, I forgot what it was called, that one village. Of course, Naruto, Junko, and even Aizawa had it too well, what's it called? Go watch a freaking movie about this. Junko's very excited. Naruto, he didn't care. He was setting up a bunch of things real fast. Like, he, he was right now having a paintball. Like a small paintball that when he shoots, when he throws it or shoots it or anything like that. Well, not shoots it. When he throws it, it explodes into like a giant pile, uh, well, like a pile of paint and all that. And just hits people, okay? That's what he wants to do in the movie theaters. Junko smashes, well, kind of smashes her fist into Naruto's head. Saying not to do that. And, well, Aizawa, he's just asleep. So, yeah. Of course, this is where she's getting angry at Naruto. Naruto's laughing a little bit and saying, Come on, it'll be funny. She says, No, I want to watch this damn movie and you're not making me fucking, well, get kicked out. Hey, Aizawa, won't you agree with me? Aizawa. He's just sleeping. <laughs> he, he, he just like brought a pillow and blanket and fell asleep on the ground. He didn't care where to go. Of course, this is where Junko says, Uh. Aizawa! Aizawa. Yeah. Now, of course, this is where, well, um, Gojo's right now, well, doing something. He's actually kind of in the village, kind of getting snacks, but yeah, you know how original Gojo kind of goes by superiors or whatever. Yeah, he's over there, kind of getting um, stuff for himself and also for his cousin, his smaller cousin. So, yeah. And if you don't know who his smaller cousin is, it's Kakashi. Since Kakashi is 27 in this one. Well, I mean, he wasn't 27. And, well, not 27. He is 27 years old in original canon. While Gojo's 28. And yes, they are cousins. The Gojo family and the Hazuke family are, are kind of cousins. So, yeah. So, of course, for this one, okay? It's, it's not in original canon. It's just me doing this damn what if because I wanna. No, shut up. Now, Naruto, he's saying, okay, fine, I won't do it, Junko. I'll wait until the end. And this is where she grabs Naruto and says, don't you fucking dare do it at the end neither. Because you're coming with me to watch the damn movie. Aizawa? Aizawa already disappeared. He, he went on the roof to sleep. This is where Junko says, Aizawa, get down here and watch the movie. This is where Aizawa says, let me fucking alone. I'm trying to sleep. 
Now, Aizawa's uh, full name is Aizawa Narwa. So yeah, I forgot to mention. So we go back into uh, uh, what to call a flashback. Naruto was actually on a meeting with what's called Gojo and the others. Of course, this is where Gojo wanted to know everyone's full name and secrets. So yeah, of course, this is where, well, uh, Aizawa said it's fine. My name is Aizawa Nar Narwa. This is where, well, Gojo didn't want to know about his last name because he already does know about Aizawa's last name, Narwa. Uh, I saw was somewhat of a half, uh, Narwa and a half, well, one of his clans. Well, this clan is called the Eraser Clan. A very, well, kind of dead clan. The reason why is because, well, people, people really didn't fear this clan. It's just, this clan just died of population. They just died because there wasn't many people reproducing. So, yeah. So, I saw was the last kind of member of the Eraser Clan. Of course, he is also half Naruto, so he can do well. He's an extremely genius person, but he is also very tired. And the Racer Clan was not very a tired clan, but being with the Naruto, it's like, yeah. And of course, is where, well, uh, what to call? Junko's name is Junko, uh, what to call? Junko's last name is uh, Zentubo, just meaning despair in English, so yeah. Of course, uh, that's just her actual clan name. It's from the Zentubo clan or whatever. And of course, they are mostly into, well, different emotions. Or, not Zentubo, that's kind of her last name, but her clan is... Her clan is called Kanchano, but yeah, but her name is just uh, Kanchano. Uh, Zendomo, but yeah, meaning, Kanchombo means, uh, what's it called, just emotions, meaning that her clan actually kind of thrives off emotions a little bit, of usually other people's emotions to get stronger, but she actually got one of the most powerful ones in wartime, or even in just time in general, the ninja world, being despair, and there's a lot of it around the whole world, so yeah. Of course, there's people with anger, which they can get, well, stronger if some if the person in front of them are angry, but yeah. Junko got it as well. She can have a radius around. Not just one person can give her despair. Anyone that she's around. So yeah. Anger can only be kind of get stronger if that one person's angry. There's, there's other ones, so yeah, like sadness and other things. But Junko got the most strongest one. Because she also kind of has a form with it. Um, other than that, uh, Gojo was nodding. He was like, good. Good to know about your names. This is where, uh, because they actually trust Gojo and Naruto and each other. So, yeah. This is where Gojo says, so, my name is Satoru Gojo. So, my first name is Satoru and my last name is Gojo. And, well, I am kind of uh, a cousin and kind of, yeah, cousin. And a family member towards my little cousin named Kakashi Hatake. You will probably see him around the village because he gets late to his team. And he reads orange books. Which he could have like easily got a girlfriend but don't know about him. Yeah, Gojo's kind of roasting <laughs> Kakashi right now. And of course, it's where well, Gojo says. So, my clan is part of to use Limitless and other things. And of course, we do use Limitless and I have other techniques. But yeah, Limitless is something I'm part of my clan. Uh, of course, my dojo is actually one of a kind. Being able to, well, see people's kind of weakness and all that. But yeah, I'm the only one in my clan to actually have this. <laughs> Don't worry about it. This is why, well, they look at Nart and Nart just says, well, you already know my name is Naruto Uzumaki. God just says, and? <sighs> Naruto says, Naruto Uzumaki Joker. This is where, well, uh, or Jester. You want, I'm gonna call it jo a Jester Joker. This Jester and Joker are basically the same thing, but yeah. This is where, well, uh, God just says, Joker. What the hell? Naruto says, I found this out. Does this clan is actually called Joker? It's from my father's side. And my father being the Minato no Mikaze Joker. I'm basically from a clan that usually can thrive off, well, B 
being extremely smart. Well, yeah, extremely smart because I am. Uh, extremely prankster, and we actually have a bunch of abilities. It seems that I have mostly all the abilities of the Joker clan, but I can also go in extremely insane if I don't do pranks. This is why, well, Gojo says, huh. This is where Junko and Aizawa says, huh. Interesting. Wait, Namakaze? Naruto says, oh shit, did I say that out loud? Um, Naruto just walks away. This is where Gojo just grabs him from his shoulder. Oh, no, no, no. You said Namikaze, but Joker. I already knew about you kind of when I being Namikaze or a Joker. But there's something else that I want to know. Naruto says, uh, my strings, they are also from the Joker clan. Uh, Gojo says, no, no. I want to know about something. This is where Gojo says, I want to know about something else. Something s rank dangerous. Before before that little talk, Naruto did kind of get a call with what's called Ruzin. That Taruzin will allow Naruto to tell people that are close to him about the Nine Tails. And Naruto says, fine. I will tell my team. Maybe. Maybe if Gojo doesn't annoy me. So, yeah. So, of course, we go back into Naruto kind of like in the little flashback. But, yeah. Of course, Naruto says, fine. My Esther, uh Danger Log mission is my best friend, the Ninetales. This is where uh, Gojo says, yes. The, wait, wait. Did you say the best friend? Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. This is where both uh, Junko and Ayatou were confused. Of course, this is where Gojo says, <clears throat> What the Ninetales is, I mean like the Ninetales Biju, the giant fox. Yes, I knew about Naruto kind of being the Ninetales fox. And of course, this is where Junko and Aizawa are wider eyes. And Naruto kind of felt kind of weirded out. Because, well, Junko then says, Oh, so that was the orange reddish chakra, was it? This is where Aizawa says, Interesting. This is where, well... Uh, Junko just kind of hugged himself, saying, We don't really care if you have the Nine Tails or not. Hmm. This is where I always say, Yeah, I'm not hugging you. I'm just gonna say, I don't really care. This is where Junko grabs Aizawa and it says, Like I said, we don't care. And this is where Naruto kind of feels a little bit better, but yeah. Of course, the Nine Tails says, Goddamn white haired bastard. This is where, well, uh, Karama now has also a perverted thought because of Junko, but this is where, well, Naruto didn't get the perverted thought because of his insane mind, and it really doesn't affect by Karama's, like, trying to push in things into Naruto's mind because the insane part kind of, like, blocks it out, but yeah. Of course, this is where, well, we go back into, well, them going into the movies. Naruto is saying, ah. Oh. You know, Junko, do you not want me to do you want me to go insane and accidentally kill someone? That's where well Junko says you can prank Gojo later, okay? That's where Naruto says fine. Aizawa, he is well, using chakra because they do know how to use chakra and stand on their feet on like well, what's it called wall or walk on water and all that. And of course this is where well Aizawa is asleep upside down. So yeah. You know how in original can like Sasuke or Sasuke and Naruto were doing that? Uh, it's the same thing. You're just kind of watching. They didn't pay anything. Aizawa is just asleep. Now, I should mention how well Aizawa looks like. Aizawa has, well, a black jacket, a black black pants, and black sandals. And also kind of a scarf around him. But yeah. Of course, uh, Junko has, what's it called? Uh, she has, well, what's it called, a kind of, what's it called, uh, kind of black and white kimono, so yeah, and of course, like, black and white sandals. Of course, her hair is kind of into two ponytails, and of course, one is what's called black, and the other one is white, uh, like, what's it called, bow ties that are actually holding up her ponytails, but yeah. Of course, she is right now just kind of watching the movie. And, of course, she's very excited. She's kind of, like, watching it and all that. Like, really giggling and all that. And Naruto, what he looks like, he basically looks like Joker. Now, I don't mean Joker from what to call... Uh, what to call DC. I'm, I'm talking about Joker from what to call... Well, Fire Force. He basically looks 
like um so he's wearing a black coat uh what's it called a red scarf and underneath it is what's it called well underneath also he's wearing the hat and kind of like something covering up one eye but yeah and underneath it he kind of wears a black shirt a kind of white uh long sleeve shirt and of course like pants and kind of looks like it has a belt and all that and his sand and his sandals are well black so yeah of course, he is right now, well, not black. They're not black sandals, they're black boots, but yeah. Also, Junko kind of just has black and white boots, but yeah. Aizawa was the only one with sandals, but yeah. Of course, this is where, well, Aizawa was asleep. Junko's very excited. Naruto's right now talking to Karama, because he doesn't really care about the movie. And this is where Karama says, Jesus Christ. Are you not going to be watching the movie, Naruto? Naruto says, the fuck no. What happened if Junko kind of asked you a pop question about the movie? Naruto just says, I'll make some random bullshit and just say I accidentally uh, zone out. You do know she does know about me, right? My existence. Because your dumbass says, best friend. Naruto says, but I couldn't lie. Why? Is it because you like her? Naruto says, no, that's not the reason. Because... Um, you know, Gojo would have, like, asked so many questions. Gojo didn't even ask anything, Kurama said. Naruto says, oh, that I should, um, I should probably, like, think of what to do next. Hmm. This is where Kurama says, don't you dare fucking ignore me. Answer the damn question. Naruto says, like, <laughs> this is where Naruto says, hmm, hmm. What to do next? What to do next? This is where uh, Karama's kind of screaming at Naruto saying, Naruto, answer the damn question! Naruto's like, <laughs> This is where Karama saying, Naruto, answer the damn question. 30 minutes later, well, after the movie's over, I think it's like, the movie, well, movies around today are like one hour, 30 minutes probably. Um, So it was like an hour and 30 minutes, but yeah. Of course, is where, well, Naruto was thinking of doing other things like pranks and all that. And of course, he's smiling the whole time, laughing and giggling like a madman. But yeah, of course, Karama keeps screaming at him, answer my damn question. You want, fuck you, Naruto. For like 30 minutes, he ask, ask, uh, answer my damn question, but then he just says, fuck you, Naruto, let me go back to sleep. That's why Naruto kind of just keeps giggling like a madman in his mind. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah he just keeps laughing like a madman but yeah i should also mention one thing naruto has a ka like i mentioned multiple what's it called keka kankais or mostly abilities from his joker clan so he can bring out like cards to turn them into fire he can also what's it called use strings pull out a scythe this is a scythe uh that he can pull out but yeah We'll bring out mostly. You can also be what's it called. You can also use poison. So yeah. But yeah. So Naruto can use poison. So yeah, he can like somewhat like. Uh, what's it called? Touch people and still poison them with like a specific poison if he's thinking about it. So yeah. <laughs> Now, we go into Naruto kind of uh, after the movie is done. Naruto is saying, well, that was such a great movie. He's trying to hope that Junko isn't going to ask him a, like a pop question or anything. Junko already knows that what's it called Naruto and Aizawa were doing other things instead of watching the movie. So she just says, you know what? I don't care, Naruto. I know you weren't watching the movie. Naruto says, what do you mean I was? He's like smiling, sweat dropping. And of course, I was always like, huh? What are we talking about? This is where Junko says, whatever, let's go. This is where, well, I always say, uh, whatever. <clears throat> Let me go back to sleep. <clears throat> this is where, well, I saw it kind of walks, uh, well, towards with Junko, but kind of having his eyes closed because he needs sleep. <clears throat> <clears throat> and of course, this is where Naruto says, but I did watch the movie. Junko says, bullshit, I know you were thinking of something else. 
We were thinking of how to prank our sensei. The certain art to say, um, um, I was asleep like Aizawa. Aizawa says bullshit. Even though I, even though I was asleep, I know you bullshitting, uh, Naruto. Naruto says, shut up, you fucking asshole. And so Aizawa says, whatever, I'm going back to sleep. He goes, like, back to taking a nap. Half asleep, half awake, but yeah. This is where well, Junko is just sitting in like that, what's it called, spot. Well, they're kind of waiting for Gojo, but yeah. Of course, they hear like, uh, what's it called, horses running around and all that. And of course, this is where Junko, Aizawa, and Naruto look towards where that noise is at. They see a kind of like the actress still running away from the other people. This is where Aizawa says, it could be just a movie shot. Naruto says, a great opportunity. This is where Junko says, Naruto, no. This is where Naruto disappeared in a flash of like green and kind of purple. And Naruto says, <sighs> he then, like, what's it called? Says, paintball attack. He sent like two paintballs, but then went through hand size and says, multi shadow clone of paintballs. Multiple, uh, multiple of them like appeared and they all popped, making a bunch of green. Black, purple, orange, pink, and blue paint just fall on like the actors who are chasing the actress. This is where the actress was confused. And Naruto says, damn, I miss her. Uh, I almost could have, I got her. Damn. Wait, no, I can't. He still has one, like this big one, like this medium big one. And he says, I can still get her. This is where when, before he was about to throw it, I saw a got his arm with scarves and Naruto said, no, I need a, I saw it, don't stop me. That's where Junko says, you idiot, Pff, hits him in the head and says, Naruto say, ow, why the hell are you punch him in the head? That's where Junko say, that's the actress, leave her the hell alone. Besides, we don't want to accidentally make her mad. Naruto say, fine, 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 fine. Damn. Okay, fine, I'll go after her. I want Hit her with a paintball. You you can hold the paintball here. That's where Naruto gives the paintball to Junko. And Junko says, fine. I'll hold on to it, okay? Naruto says, yeah, yeah. Naruto walks away, going towards the actress. But this is where Naruto pulls out a cigarette. And kind of starts smoking it like, what's it called? Joker from Fire Force, but yeah. Now, of course, it really doesn't affect him, the cigarette. Because, well, it's just what's it called? Just, um... Just something for him to just do because you know how it was called uh asuma and uh, harusen kind of smoke but they don't really get cancer or anything they kind of uh know about this technique where they use chakra to reinforce their lungs when smoke yeah okay i don't really want to go into detail but yeah <clears throat> and that's what i'm guessing but yeah of course is where well naruto he's just like walking towards what's called well the actress. The actress is right now just uh, letting the horse drink water. And this is where Naruto says, yo, in such a deep tone, like the Joker from Fire Force. This is where she like gets started up. And this is where she turns around and sees a boy who is 5'5". Five five. <clears throat> Let me actually remember her. This is where, well, Kaoki, I'm going to say she is like 5'6". Because I know in original canon, she's like 15 years old, and Naruto would be like 12, but yeah. <clears throat> this is where Naruto says, yo. This is where, well, Kaoki just kind of like snapped back to reality and all that, and says, what do you want? This is where Naruto says, he like breathes in and out, kind of poofing out like a smoke cloud and all that. This is where Naruto says, oh. I just want to know, are you Koyoki, whatever her last name is? Koyoki says, yeah, why? What? What is it to you? Naruto says, well... <laughs> this is where Koyoki is getting creeped out by Naruto. And this is where Naruto says, oh, I need you to come along with me. Koyoki says, and what if I don't? Naruto says, you don't have an option. Naruto was right behind her. This is where Koyoki was startled. She was right now just having like her hairs go up. Like this man kind of feels dangerous. But at the same time feels kind of non-dangerous. She doesn't know why. 
Naruto was right behind her. Like a fucking god. Or not a god. Like, just, yeah. Like a god of speed, but yeah. Because so when Naruto says, Oh, and if you try to run away, it'd be harder on you. It'd be a lot worse on you. This is more Koyoki says, What do you want from me? This is where Naruto says, Oh, <laughs> nothing. This is where Koyoki says, Then can I? No. This is where Koyoki kind of is really scared of Naruto's voice because Naruto has a really kind of deep, medium voice because he kind of sounds like a little bit from Joker from Fire Force, but yeah. This is where, well, uh, Koyoki says, Then what do you want? Do you want money? Do you want, what do you want? Do you want an autograph or whatever? Or not autograph, she says, do you want an autograph? Like, she has, like, the spies of that. Naruto says, no, not a, wait. Actually, um, actually, yes. Here's where Kurama says, oh, is that because you want to give it to Junko? Naruto says, shut up. Nine tells you far ball. Wait, can't I disconnect you? This is where Kurama says, don't you do, you mother fuck. This is where Naruto says, uh, yeah, I do need an autograph. Yeah, it's for someone. Can you put the name into Junko? Uh, he said last name and all. That's where, well, Koyoki says, you realize that I need an actual paper to at you, but I don't want to sign it, okay? This is where Naruto says, oh, do you have a choice? Naruto kind of, like, pulls out a card, but turns into fire. That's where, uh, Koyoki's scared of Naruto now. That's where Naruto says, are you gonna sign the card? That's where he kind of turns the card back into normal, into just normal, not actually fire. And this is where she is kind of scared. This is where Naruto says, um, hello? Are you, did I accidentally kill you from fear? Ha. <sighs> this is where, well, Kayoki then says, wait, that wasn't your original voice? Naruto says, no. I just put chakra into my uh, well, vocal cords. But other than that, can you just please sign this? This is where Jun uh, well, not Junko. Koyoki says, fine. This is where she says, I need a marker or something. Naruto says, uh, oh, fuck. Don't have a marker. Whatever, I'll go get one later. Just come on. This is where Naruto says, let's go. I need to, well, go back to the boat or whatever. This is where she says, so you're one of those protect- This is where Naruto says, also... Uh, I need you to really like, uh, well, how should I say? Just let's go. Even though I know you couldn't sign the card. So he just says go because Naruto doesn't have a marker on him. Because, yeah. This is where Kaoki says, no, I'm not going back. This is where uh, Naruto says, <sighs> he breathes out another cloud of just smoke. This is where Naruto, he appears behind her and just smacks her in like the neck. Knock her out. This one, Naruto. Uh, just kind of pick her up and just says, Then I'll just have to carry you. So Naruto disappears. And the horse goes, Arr! Like, yeah. Because he doesn't know what the hell happened. This one, Naruto. He appears kind of on, like, the boat and all that. Like, on the sails. Like, right on top of there. This is where, well, uh, Gojo is saying, So, where's Naruto? Until he sends Naruto and looks up and says, Oh, there's Naruto. This is where Aizawa and Chunko says, What? Naruto? Why the hell is he up there? This is where Naruto says, Hey guys! You know what? Uh, this would be a great prank. Naruto's about to let go of, like, what's it called? The princess? Until, uh, well, Gojo appears and says, Oh, thank you, uh, Naruto. Naruto says, Fuck. This is where, well, Gojo says, Oh, so that's not very nice to, like, do to the actress that we need to protect. Naruto says, <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> this is where Gojo says, You're going insane, aren't you? No, I just says, No, I'm not going insane. I have no clue what you're talking about. This is where, well, Gojo says, You can only prank one of the actors, okay? Don't do anything crazy. No, I just says, Fine. No, I just disappears. Went to go get something, but yeah. This is where, well, uh, Gojo kind of, like, puts with the car, the princess in, like, bed. So, you're wondering how Naruto, well, Gojo appears. Well, in front of, well, Naruto trying to let go of the princess. Well, Gojo can fly still, somewhat. 
You can use chakra to kind of fly because of limitless a little bit. Because of where, well, uh, well, not limitless to, uh, from his one of the techniques, blue, I think so. Well, yeah. Because of where, well, Gojo just puts her on a bedding, yeah. And Gojo did see the necklace that she has. And Gojo doesn't pay much attention because he doesn't really care. Just like how, well, Kakashi would have cared, but Gojo really never took on this mission, so he has no clue. But of course, he's aware of, well, Naruto, he went to just do a small prank on one of, like, the directors and other, not the director, but one of the people that had the camera and all that, when the uh, Koyoki woke up the next day. And of course, this is where one of them were carrying uh, what's called like a plate of food and all that. And of course, Naruto just had a trip wire for him to fall, and Naruto kind of laughed. <laughs> so Naruto kind of helped out the person, but yeah. This is where, well, Gojo says, at least that was a small prank. This is where, well, Aizawa and Junko really has to well, keep an eye on Naruto. He wouldn't go anywhere insane or anywhere to him. Uh, to an insane prank or anything like that. But yeah. So where, well. Uh, Naruto. He's just like kind of on a boat. And of course Koyoki is doing her actress and all that. And of course this is where, well, the next day happened. And of course. No, I said like a couple of hours. Not like the next day. I mean, when that person got tripwire, it was like a couple hours past. And, um. What's called Koyoki did her actress thing after that. But the next day happened and of course they still see that giant ice glue or yeah, ice an ice glue would be that round thing. I mean the I ice mountain, okay? I can't fucking remember what is that you call. Of course is where well Naruto he is kinda saying, So we're gonna be on that mountain or whatever. That's where Koja says, Yep. This is where well Junko, she's wearing what's called a black jacket now. Because, well, it's kind of cold as hell and the kimono was very bad enough. Aizawa's cozy because of his black coat jacket. Naruto is very cozy because of his black coat, but yeah. Or mostly kind of, he kind of gave it towards what's called Junko, but yeah. Naruto is not really affected by the cold and Junko was kind of saddened. Then Naruto had to give his black coat towards her. Naruto just says, don't worry, it doesn't affect me. When he's smoking the cigarette and all that. That's where she says, isn't that bad for you? That's where Naruto says, it's fine. Besides, it doesn't matter. It heats me up inside anyway. That's where she says, no, then take the fucking coat back. Naruto says, no, it was bad enough for you to wear a kimono. That's where she says, fine. That's where I <clears throat> Naruto and the others kind of go, uh, well, get off the boat just to kind of watch a princess or any band pirate or anything that's showing up or anything. But of course, it's where, well, uh, Naruto senses to what they call chakra spikes, the three of them. And this is where Naruto says, Gojo. Gojo says, I already know about it. Gojo appears in front of that one leader and already kicked him in, well, not kicked him, mostly punched him in the face. And of course, this is where the leader kind of smashes into an ice mountain. This is where the big guy, like, shows up and says, Ha ha ha. So, we're here to get Koyoki, isn't it? This is where the girl is saying, Yeah. This is where Junko Aizawa Naruto says, Hey, girl, go into the boat and stay over there. You're more protected in there. This is where she says, Um, sure, because there's no fire. Only the fire that appears is Naruto's fire, but yeah. Is it where? Well, Naruto says, I guess I'm gonna have to be fighting you first. And of course, I saw when Junko wanted to help Naruto, but Naruto insists that he will be able to fight this person. Is it where? Well, uh, the person says, Oh, you're gonna be a cocky little brat, aren't you? Naruto says, <laughs> uh, sorry about that, buddy, but I really don't care. He pulls out a jar, like a jar of like some kind of gunpowder and anything like that in there. This is where Naruto 
sprinkles a little bit on the person. And this is where Naruto throws a little bit of fire on the person. And it just explodes. This is where Junko and Aizawa never have seen that attack. This is where the person says, You think a little explosion will affect me? Tries to punch at Naruto. Naruto dodges. And he says, <laughs> You really don't understand. That was only a distraction. This is where Naruto... He pulls out, well, from his hand, he, like, claps his hand together. And this is where he kind of, like, spreads them out. And, like, 50 cards appear. This is where Naruto says, oh, but I'm just getting started. <laughs> this is where, well, we go into Gojo fighting us the, well, the other guy. Now, of course, Gojo's right now kicking his ass in Taijutsu. And, of course, every time the person tries to, like, punch him, or even use in jutsu, like use a jutsu or anything like that. Uh, it never affects Gojo because Gojo's limitless in his six eyes. That's the word. Well, uh, the person says, Kakashi Hatake. I should have known. That's where Gojo says, Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Kakashi, you're you're talking about my little cousin. My name is Gojo Satoru. This is where the person says, Wait, you're not Kakashi? No. Uh, uh, huh? That's where Gojo sighs and says, whatever. He says, I'm stronger than you and you're Yamawo. So meaning you're weak anyway. As in where, well, uh, the person gets angry, but this where Nart, uh, well, Gojo appears and smashes fist into the person's gut, breaking the, what you call, armor super easily. And because, well, Gojo has six eyes, so he found out the weakness super easily. And of course, it's where Gojo says, well, when he punched into it, he says, Black Flash, smashing the fucking, what's it called, like, gear off, and also kind of smashing with the car. Uh, like, the person's ribs, like, all of them piercing through lungs and killing him in an instant. Gojo laughs and says, good, now I gotta go help my students. This is where Naruto is right now throwing cards through the person's armor, like the person should have had a shield, but of course there was like three cards sticking out from the like what's called circle that he had on like the middle of the chest, uh, well stomach chest. As a wire, well, three cards already cracked through it, and multiple cards are sticking out from his body. This is Naruto is laughing. <laughs> you don't understand the amazement of this world. Let's play some goddamn cards. This is where, well, Naruto pulls out, well, two cards from the air and slashes at this person, cutting off his arms and then cutting off his head. This is where Naruto, he takes out the cards from the person's kind of body because multiple cards were sticking into his body, like about 14. And Naruto already kind of had two, like, on his, like, hands, but yeah, just to cut his arms and all that. This is where Naruto grabs back off with the cards and kind of just puts him under his sleeve and says, Well, I hope you all like the performance. You're welcome. <laughs> Naruto kind of bows down and does like that gesture thing. And of course, this is where, well, they were kind of horrified, but the director was amazed with this person's performance, this kind of kid. But yeah, of course, we go into Junko and Aizawa fighting against a girl. The girl uses chakra to kind of flies around with the what's it called wings. This is where Aizawa puts chakra. And of course, this is where, well, Junko actually managed to get kind of power from despair a little bit. From somewhere. She doesn't know where. But she managed to get like this kind of the sadness power and all that. And of course, she then just punched the what's it called the girl off the air because she was kind of mid air falling. Because Aizawa managed to erase it. And this is where Junko punches her down to the ground. And of course, where Junko says, You think you can defeat me? <laughs> you should know. Uh, she did, like, what's it called? Punch her in the face and all that. Array well, I saw her erase everything. Like, every chakra around her body. Uh, the girl and all that. And of course, this is where Junko can easily punch it. This is where, well, I saw what kind of kicked the girl in the stomach. Kind of smashing the, what's it called, circle that's on her stomach. And of course, this is where Junko decides to just beat her ass easily. <laughs> well, yeah, she's kind of going a little bit crazy. Of course, this is where Aizawa raised the chakra, like the despair, and making her normal. This is where she says, 
Thanks, Aizawa. This is where, when they look towards what's called, well, Naruto, they see that Naruto defeated his enemy. Then they look where the sensei's at. Gojo, Gojo's already just saying, wow, you guys did pretty well on your first C-rank mission. <laughs> Good job, Junko, Aizawa, and Naruto. Naruto says, yep. It was all because of my great performance like a jester. This is where, well, uh, Gojo says, yeah, that's what it was. Definitely not your skills of being a, uh, well, yeah, your skills, mostly. But, yeah, this is where, well, they get on the boat and they leave. <laughs> of course, Gojo then asks what to call the act. Well, not the actor. The actress was a call. Uh, his name is Steven because I can't fucking remember his name. So uh, Gojo asked Steven about why what's called they were after Koyoki. This is where Steven had it to come clean and all them other things. And of course, this is where, well, Gojo says, we could go back to the village and ask for help. But you know, I'm the strongest, so we're good. And this is where, well, and Shunko then says, I don't really care. Let's go and help her. This is where Naruto says, I must show them all the performance of a true joker. <laughs> this is where I saw. He fell asleep through all of it. Yeah, he was tired. This is where Naruto, like, felt, well, what's it called? Kind of tired also, so he kind of fell asleep a little bit. And yeah. This is where, well, uh, Koyoki still kind of screams. Aizawa was asleep. Naruto was already falling asleep and didn't care about her kind of screams of, like, not wanting to go back. But, of course, Junko says, shut up. You don't know anything. You still want to help. Those people need you. Because, yeah, Junko is going to be kind of like Naruto in some case. But, yeah. Of course, Naruto's asleep because, yeah, because he's tired. He used over what's it called, well, fit, no, not 15, 16 cars. He had a total of 50, and he was using 16. So, of course, he's a little bit tired. Of course, it's where, well, uh, Junko just says, let's go, Sensei, just ignore her. She gets angry at Junko and tries to go towards Junko and says, what the hell did you just say, bitch? This is where Naruto appears. And says, don't you dare threaten my teammates. Naruto's eyes, well, what's it called? One of his eyes turned purple. From under what's it called? The cover that it has, what's it called? Cover his eye. His right eye mostly. Just like how Joker is. One of his eyes went purple. But yeah. So. Naruto appears right in front of what's it called? Junko. And looks at Koyoki. With his purple eye glowing, and this one Naruto says, Do you really want to do that? We're here to protect you. This is where, well, Toyoki says, I don't care. I'm not going back. This is where Naruto says, Then this would change your mind. Here you go, a GIF. This is where, uh, Koyoki looks at the GIF, and it's just a round, similar circle, um, color with green and purple. This is where she says, What is this? Naruto says, don't worry, it will go in one, two. This is where Naruto grabs Junko real fast and even Aizawa. Three. This is where, well, she says, what do you mean three? This is where Junko says, no, don't do. It explodes into paint, hitting uh, Kaoki, even Steven. Gojo wasn't affected because it was a limitless. And Naruto was right behind with uh, Gojo doing it. This is where she looks at Naruto with a murderous glare. Naruto looks at her, he's just smile of a madness, man. Of just madness. This is what she says, fine. I'll go back. Just give me the fuck away from him. This is what Naruto says, ah, Such kind words from a, well, princess. <laughs> this is what Junko just says, really, Naruto? Really? Naruto says, why not? It seems so much of a serious situation. Wow, single prank. So I had to do something. <sighs> she says, really? I fucking hate you sometimes. As it were, well, they're going towards the island. And of course, when they get there, they are kind of like on the road. Of course, Koyoki still tries to get away. 
And of course, Junko kind of realized this because she was there. Because she kind of spaced out a little bit. Kind of thinking of Naruto a little bit. But this is where, well, she didn't realize where she, uh, well, can't find her. Naruto says, don't worry, I can find her. This is where Junko was going to offer his jacket back. But Naruto disappeared. Leaving just a green and uh, purple kind of dust particle. This is where Naruto kind of just appears right in front of uh, what's it called, Kaioki. This is where Naruto says, when are you going to stop trying to run away? Or do you want another paint bomb? <laughs> this is where, well, <clears throat> she says, when you fucking stop chasing after me. Naruto says, too bad. Naruto appears and grabs her because she did fell down. Naruto says, let's go. This is where they hear like this weird sound. Naruto says, the hell is that? I said, where? Well, Kaioki says, train. I swear, uh, Naruto says, oh shit. Naruto disappears and reappears out in the outside of the train and all that. Well, outside of the train track. This is where Naruto puts her on the ground. And this is where she says, what are you doing? Naruto says, something that I always wanted to do. Hey, Naruto, you want to try? Arama says, it's a fucking train, but sure. Let's see if you can try. So Naruto says, <clears throat> he then goes into the cubic cloak. Well, not a cubic cloak. He decides to kind of go into a cubic cloak right in front of what's called Kaioki. And this is where, well, Kaioki's uncle still gets out. But this is where Naruto is concentrating himself. This is where she, yeah, he says, Kaioki, come with me. I need that necklace. This is where Steven still has what's it called the army, but Naruto's focusing. This is where Naruto says, QB cloak. Uh, what's it called? Three cloak. This is where Naruto opens his eyes, his eyes are slick. And of course, a three toed cloak appears and well, around him. This is where Naruto smashes the ground, like hits the ground. But of course, this is where Naruto says, String, string. Off oh, wave, string, string, wave. This is where all the ground turns into string and rushes towards the train, cutting it into a million pieces. This is where Kaioki's uncle is right now, just in half. Uh, when I mean in half, his entire body, upper body is okay. His legs are gone. This is where Naruto appears and punches this man so hard in the face, breaking everything in his, like, well, muscle structure in the face, killing him in an instant. Even though killing people. Well, by cutting them in half, wouldn't kill them that much. But yeah, punching him in the face with a three-tailed cloak kind of kills people. <clears throat> That's where Naruto says, so interesting. That's where Steven and the others were like, holy shit, what the hell is this monster? That's where Naruto laughs. They say, <laughs> that was interesting. Don't you think, Kaioki? Kaioki was shocked of Naruto. That's where Naruto says, eh, whatever. We're finished with this mission, Gojo. Gojo says, why did you go into the three-toed cloak? Because I wanted to test something out, Naruto say. Go to say whatever. Then let's just go. As a while, well, <clears throat> they are going well back to kind of Kaioki to be in the new uh, Snow Princess, and yeah, of course she is horrified. She gets a reality check because of Naruto, and Naruto showed that it's really nothing. Well, not a reality check from Naruto, somewhat from him, but also a reality check from uh, Junko to kind of tell her to kind of be brave and all that, and not to go insane like Naruto. Naruto says, I'm not insane, not yet. As a word, well, Junko says, shut up already. As a word, well, Koyoki says, okay. This is where she becomes a snow princess. And, of course, they do find out that the thing is still a heat generator. It still becomes spring, and yeah. Of course, they were, well, uh, Koyoki's happy. She's very thankful of Junko, Aizawa, Gojo, and kind of Naruto, even though Naruto's kind of a prankster and also kind of a murderer at the same time. And she's scared half the time of Naruto. So where Naruto's like, so we going, alright? This is where, well, Junko got an autograph from what was called Kaioki, and she's very happy. And just like, yes, yes, yes. So, yeah. Kaioki also still says that she's going to be acting in the Mech Out Paradise. You know, Gojo, he really doesn't care if 
it wasn't for him, his like little cousin would be excited a lot. He's talking about Kakashi. And of course it were well. Uh Aizawa was still asleep. He just didn't care. Naruto is over here pranking the hell out of the civilians. <laughs> but yeah. Of course, we then go in the time to get going back to the Leaf Village. This is where, well, of course, this is where when they get back to the village, Horusen kind of has them to do another mission, a C-rank mission. But this C-rank mission is to go help out Gojo's, uh, well, younger cousin, Kakashi Hatake, from where the miss. This is where Naruto and, well, the others nodded and yeah. But this is where I'm going to leave it off for part three of this what if. Because I am now tired. And yeah. But yeah. Well, not tired. Mostly thirsty. But yeah. Let me check. But other than that. Have a nice potato day. Potato night. Potato seat. Potato, potato. And good night. Potato.